Hello everyone, Punjeda here, and I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to mimic a Decepticon voice, roughly, using Acoustica Mixercraft 5. So what I'm going to do is start on my first audio track. I'm going to arm it, and I've already got it set to my microphone. And I'm using a Turtle Beats Z2, by the way, in case you're wondering what I'm recording with. A good condenser mic will also work just fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record with a clear and normal voice a line that I'm going to edit and modify so that it sounds more robotic. And this effect has been used quite a few times. You'll see people saying, you know, don't adjust your pitch rates, use effects and stuff. I'm going to show you how to do this without using any additional effects, just voice layers. So I'm going to lay in a little cheese ball line here like such. Welcome to the end of your existence. I know, dark, huh? So we're going to play this in the raw file so you hear it. Welcome to the end of your existence. Right, so that would have you shaking in your boots, wouldn't it? Not exactly. So we're going to copy this first track, and we're going to paste it three times. Make sure they're all lined up to the front. We don't want them offset. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on our first audio track. We're going to drop down to negative three on the adjust pitch by. This is under your sound tabs. You have mixer, library, sound. So under there, negative three. On the second line, we're going to switch it to negative five. And on the third line, negative seven. And what I like to do is crank the volumes just a bit on the last two, because the lower the tones, the less likely you're able to understand the voice. We want it to be clear, but still have that wicked growl to it. And so here's what we have now. Welcome to the end of your existence. Nice. Now that's a little bit more daunting, I should say. So this just gives you an example of how using your own voice and just using uh, slight pitch adjustments to get that, that effect. Now let me show you one other thing that I like to do, and this just gives you more of a cleaner tone which is good for long dialect or something that you don't want to sound as evil. So what I simply do is just make sure the first one's at negative three, the second one's at negative five, and the third one's at negative five. This one I am going to use an effect. I'm going to use Acoustica Chorus and the two voices. And when we play this back, you get... Welcome to the end of your existence. And as you see, it's still a good dark tone, a good dark sound, but you have it cleaner and more concise, which again, like I said, is good for a longer dialect um, or a faster speech. You know, if you have a character that isn't as dramatic and, oh, you know, slow, um, evil, this is a good way to, to do it. And again, you can always bring it the other way up. You know, I could switch easily, go into the top and raise it. So let's do a two positive a three positive and a four positive. Welcome to the end of your existence. So yeah, maybe not the most believable evil character, but it just shows you that you can get a good, fairly professional sound um, with just a few voice layers and pitch adjustments. Well, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll respond as soon as possible. Thanks everybody. Goodbye.